In this video, we'll see how to use regular expressions, also known as regex or regex, in WordFast Pro 6. We will also see how to use the chain files function and why. We will convert financial numbers from the Finnish format to the English format. And finally, we will use the cleanup function. Let's have a look at the documents that we need to translate. There are six of them here. There are financial statements with things like uh, income statement, net sales, and then we have two columns of numbers that are in uh, fi financial format. We will translate these documents from Finnish into English, and we will also localize the numbers. So the first thing I'll do is select all six documents, and I'll add them to my WordFast Pro project. In WordFast Pro, I'll select all of them with Control A, and I will chain these files. This will give me a single document to which I can apply the operations I'm interested in. So what I want to do now is filter this document for numbers only segments. For that, I will go to the WordFast wiki and I click on the link. And here I have an expression, a ready-made expression for show only number only segments. It's quite complicated, but all I have to do is select it, press Ctrl C to copy it, then go back to WordFast Pro. And here in this filter field, I will paste the, the regular expression with Ctrl V and I'll tick red, regex here and I will apply the filter. What it does, as you can see, is isolate only segments that have numbers and nothing else. Next thing I'll do is copy all sources that will duplicate the source column into the target column. And now I can start localizing my numbers. So I'll start with the decimals. In Finnish, we have a comma, and I want a dot in English, so Control H, comma, find next, replace with dot, and replace all. Okay, so now the decimals are taken care of. Next thing I'll do is select the thousand separators, which is the non-breaking space in Finnish, and again Control H, find next non-breaking space, replace with, and in English we have uh, the comma as the thousand separator. So comma and replace all. Now all my numbers have been localized. What I'll do is mark all these segments, so the numbers only, as translated. Now I can cancel the filtering and I will in fact apply a new filter. So I will be looking for segments that need to be translated. So I'll use the need translation segments filter and I will apply it. So now I have all my labels. I know that they are in my TMs. So all I need to do is select translate all and it should be populated. Now, indeed, if I look at the percentage uh, of completion, it's 100%. So I can, again, cancel the filter. And now I have everything in my file set as translated. I'll save the chain file. I'll close it. And now I can see my six documents that are all translated. So I could open them one by one. And then in file, I could use file, save file as translated, but I don't want to do that six times. Instead, what I can do is use the cleanup function. I will start by opening the underlying location. I will move one step back to the ENGB folder. And now I will click on cleanup. I'll, I'll put the files in the project folder 
and I will add a language suffix to the translated uh, file name and clean up. Now, what WordVars does is create a folder called translated, and in that folder, I have my files. So, for instance, income statement here, it's now translated in English, and the numbers also localized according to the English format. So, this is one example of an application of uh, regular expressions in WordVars Pro. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you found this video useful and see you in the next one.